Hi, everybody. It is Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in, sellers. Say hello. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know that you can hear me. And that way we can jump right in and get right to it because this sales tip actually got me three sales in one day and three sales I'm not sure I would have gotten if I hadn't used this tip. And I know not everybody, make sure I get, here we go. I know not everybody's aware of this. So that's why I wanted to broadcast um, so that you can be aware of it. And the great thing about this tip is you do not have to have an eBay store to use it. There are tools that are just exclusive to eBay store owners. And I do tell you about those when we go into it. But I also like to share tips that everybody can use. Sellers that don't have a store, perhaps you're just starting out, or a more experienced seller, but you've just chosen not to have an eBay store. Hi, Jean. Thank you so much. Great. Hi, Jean. How are you? Hi, Glenda. How are you? Hey, Cynthia, good to see you. Good to see everybody. Great, great, great. So come on in. I know sometimes it can get very frustrating as a seller um, because sales can get slow sometimes. Um, the, you know, we all go through periods where, you know, the sales are exploding and the sales are great. And it's like, yay, 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 right? And we're posting and we're letting everybody know. It's like, yay, my sales are so fantastic. You get to hear New York City in the background. And then there are times, and this happens to everybody that I know. So when this does happen to you, don't feel that you are alone. And please never feel um, that you can't get out of it, okay? But we all go through periods where our sales just get really, really slow. And it can be discouraging, particularly if you're in forums. And if you're not a member of my Facebook groups, please come join. Um, I have a basic selling group, eBay Selling Basics, nothing but selling basics. And you can be any level and join that group. It's for beginning through advanced. We're always going through um, foundational things about our selling. I don't know about you. I know for me, it is always good to go over foundations. Um, and then for my more advanced sellers, I have eBay stores, nothing but eBay stores, Facebook group. And you do need to be an eBay store owner. Um, to be a member of that group because we really do a deep dive about things for eBay stores. And I do have a group for multi-channel sellers. So if you love selling, you know, in more than one channel, come join online selling, nothing but online selling. But to get to the point of when sales get slow, and it does happen, you'll go through a day, sometimes it's a week, um, sometimes it can be longer and it can be very, very frustrating. Um, we all have bills. We all have things that we're looking at. And, and, and sometimes you get yourself in such a knot. It's, it's almost like a death spiral where it's like, gosh, this is just getting worse and worse and worse. And I don't know how to get out of this. Um, so this is a tip to help you, whether your sales are going great, because if your sales are going great and you want them to go even more great and have more money, um, or your sales can be a little slow, or not even slow, but they're like, okay, but you want to get them going. It's like, oh, how do I like, you know, kick it up a notch here? Again, you'll be in groups and you'll be hearing about this person's killing it and this person's killing it. And it's just frustrating because your sales aren't killing it. So it's like, how do I just get them going, push them up, you know, see what's going on here. Um, so this is something that has helped me. Um, and I use it quite often. And the other day, I actually got several sales back to back with this. I was like, whoa, this is fantastic. So this is why I want to share it with you. So if you get a question on an item, and it can be a question about anything. It can be measurements. It could be condition. It could be, will you ship here? Will you put extra bubble wrap on it? You know, whatever the question is, that person has taken the time to message you through eBay messages. And just to let you know, it's one of the things about social media is that people work very, very hard to get what is called engagement with customers. Um, that's a lot of what social media is about, is that you're really working at, you know, how to start the conversation, how to start the relationship, because once you get that going, 
then it can help you to go, oh, by the way, and here's this item that I offer for sale. It's a way to get the sales process going. So that is why you'll see very often on social media, people talking about getting engagement with customers, getting engagement with shoppers. As a seller, you want engagement. eBay works very hard to bring customers onto eBay for us. We work very hard for those of us that do social media to bring customers to us. So here is somebody messaging you. This is fantastic. It means somebody is really actively interested in your item, okay? And they are asking whatever they are asking. You have two buttons, and you may not have noticed that when you go to answer them. And oftentimes sellers, because we are many of us solopreneurs, um, you know, we're wearing so many hats. Um, you know, I'm trying to get the shipping out. Um, my grandson's coming over. Um, oh, 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 you know, dinner's on the stove. I got to go take care of my dinner. And I'll click reply and I answer them. You know, I've measured the item. I've checked the size of it. Uh, yes, I can put that extra thing of bubble wrap on it, you know, whatever it is. And I click reply and I answer them. And it's good. You definitely want to click reply and you definitely want to answer them because I want to see, aha, uh -huh, you know, is this the solution? And then I'm going to get the sale. Yay. But did you know that you have two buttons to answer them? I can click reply with the answer. And I can click reply with offer. Have you seen that? Reply with offer. Now, what some sellers don't understand is when you click that, you can still message the person. So it's not just that you click reply and you're sending them an offer for a certain dollar amount that you will accept um, for the item. It is very similar to best offer. And you don't need to have best offer on the item to use reply with offer. So Rob, oh, I was going to say, so Robin says that she has seen it but never used it. Aha. I have, and it works. Now, it doesn't work all the time. You know you know me. Anybody who says, oh, this is the magic pill, just do this, and thousands of sales will come your way, you're like, mm-hmm, yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, and let's just say, mm-hmm, yeah, right. But it opens the door, particularly, you know, if it's slow, if it's a little sluggish. And the other thing is, if you get a question, because this will happen, you get a question on an item that has been sitting in your store forever or not in your store, in your inventory if you're not a store owner. It's, it's like, please, you know, you probably want to like give this away. So someone will come in on something that's been up for three years, you know, and you're just like, like, oh, please, will this thing ever sell? And, you know, they're asking blah, 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 blah. Click reply with offer. Think long and hard about what would be enticing. That's why it's very similar to best offer. But again, you know, you don't want to sell yourself short, but think long and hard, particularly if it's something that's been around for a long time. It's like, please just buy this. Reply with offer. Click it. Answer their question, whatever it is. And this is what I do. I say, I'm making the special offer of whatever the dollar amount is, or I'm giving you a special opportunity to purchase this at blah, blah, discount. This offer is only good for you because it is. It's reply with offer is just to that person. It is not out to the general public. Is why not make them feel a little special? So this offer is just for you because it is, and it's for a short time only. And the reason I'm doing that is it's like putting, um, when you're running a sale, if you don't have an eBay store, um, you may not be aware of this, but when you run a sale on an item or in a store, there's a clock. Uh, eBay puts a clock on it. So when the person lands on the item, they see the clock um, counting down, which is great. So then they know there's only 11 hours left or eight hours left or six hours left at this price. And that's what reply with offer can do for you. If it, you know, blah, 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 you answer. Um, here's the special price just for you. 
but it is only good for a short time. And I believe it times out after 48 hours. I can't remember. It's either 24 or 48, but it is, there is a time limit on it. It doesn't go on for weeks and weeks. And you send it to the person. I would say, hmm, I'm trying to, at least 50% of the people take it. And then this one day, three of them took it. It was like, bam, 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 back to back on three different items. I'm like, yay. And it was a day that was a little slow. I was looking at it going, mm, you know, what's going on here? You know, let, let's get busy on social media. And then three questions, very different questions on three different items. I'm like, let's, you know, reply with offer. And I sent it off to them. And I got three sales back to back. In full disclosure, I had four that day and three accepted. The fourth did not. The item is still in my store. You do not need an eBay store to do this. This is not on an auction item, by the way. So this is on a fixed price item because you look at questions on auction items and you do want to answer them. So fixed price item. You have two buttons. So just a lot of times you're like, well, just reply. Two buttons. So just slow down you know, write out whatever, think about, you know, whatever you're going to answer them as far as their question and then reply with offer and make them feel special because they are good for them. They have come in and they have messaged you. Oftentimes people will think things or have questions about things. And you know what? They don't message you. This person has messaged you. They've started a conversation there's hundreds of thousands of sellers out there that would love to have a conversation with a potential customer here. This person has come in and they are having a conversation with you. It's like, yay, you know, is reply with offer, make them feel special and let them know that there's a timer on the offer. You've got nothing to lose, right? The item hasn't sold, giving them the offer. If it gets you the sale, you make a little bit less money. That's why you do want to be aware of what you spent. Um, and comment yummy, Y-U-M-M-Y, -M -M comment yummy. Um, I've got some extra tips to go along with that reply with offer to help you um, and some other sales tips that can help you kickstart your sales um, because I know some people are going through slow, slow sales now. And even if you're not going through slow sales, I don't know if it's slow sales. Boy, say that one fast. Um, I don't know about you. I am always looking for more sales. You know, if I've got five sales today, I want 10 sales. If I have 10 sales, I want 15 sales. It's always I want more because when I sell more, I can go out and shop more and get more great inventory for my shoppers and keep that cash flow going. So important. So comment yummy, Y-U-M-M-Y um, for your sales tips. And when you get a question, reply with offer. And I'm just going to check questions, see how everybody's doing. Great, great, great. Diana said, Diana said, people like exclusive deals, don't they, Diana? And isn't so much sales about that? I mean, when you think about things like people want that extra little touch, why not give it to them? Most of us, again, are solopreneurs. You might have a few employees or people helping you, you know, that special little touch, you know, so that they know that they're appreciated. And for many people, you know, money is a little tight, you know, regardless of what is going on with the economy, saving an extra few dollars or five dollars or whatever amount you're able to help them save. Um, why not? Right. And again, this person has come in and started a conversation. Oh, I'm not I mean, I'm not kidding you. I mean, that is so much of what social media is about is getting the conversation started. They've started the conversation. The customer has started the conversation. They are interested in the item. And I know sometimes, you know, they're not, you know, you answer the question and it's like, where is the person? But I, you know, 50%, 30%, what if you get 20, 25%, 25% increase, 25% of your conversations are 30 or 40% with customers and in sales, this is fabulous. So, and you can even put a note in if they accept it and they've saved $3 or $4 or 10% or whatever it is, you can put a little message in. So glad to pass the extra savings along to you. Why not continue that conversation, build that relationship with that customer. So that way they'll be coming back and shopping more and more with you. It gets the ball rolling. It gets, it can help you get sales. 
It can help you increase your sales and you don't need a store. And you are so, so right about people wanting to feel special. Michelle said, thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, I'm always glad to pass along tips for you. So comment yummy, Y-U-M-M-Y, so if I can send those tips to you, they come right to you. Um, and thank you so much for joining me. If this video is helpful, please share it with your friends and let them know because it's a great tip and we'll all help each other increase our sales. Okay, great. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Bye-bye.